no witness station. Is that worked good. Yeah. I'd like to thank the rabbi so much for his energy and his wisdom. I'd like to thank also the people that allowed this night to happen. To thank Rabbi Naftali Citron for hosting us and help hosting the rabbi. To thank the school. Thank Leon and Karen Sutton for hosting the rabbi. Oh, what a wonderful day! Ah. Thank every, everybody for coming. I also want to say that uh, the rabbi has an incredible website. Like, you know, I, when I first saw it, it was pretty cool, but he's adding a tremendous amount of Likute Mahalran audio, and it's very special his website. It's getting better and better and better, and he's super involved with B'nai Noah, and it's a very, the rabbi's awareness is extremely broad. <laughs> we can Wait. tell. We know. We can watch.
everybody, whether they're Christians, Muslims, uh, Buddhists, Hindus, or anybody else in the world, we're all having common these seven universal commandments. And uh, the now is the time to break down the barriers and actually to 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 uh, promote and to to uh, to uh, inform all of the nations about the Torah. And I really see this as uh, serving a double purpose. That uh, I'm hoping that people are going to pick this up, and those who don't want to pick it up will be automatically defining themselves as uh, being out of the equation. And then we'll then we will know. Do you, do you huh. tell them about Rabbi Nachman? Yes, I think that mm-hmm. telling them about Rabbi Nachman right. is, is the Gentiles and and the Hasidim uh, there. Uh, November a year ago, I was invited by a friend of mine who's a professor of Judaism at the Jesuit Mary Mount Loyola University of Los Angeles to give a presentation before the faculty and about 250 students. So I spoke about, I, I said to them, uh, I understand that the foundation of the religion of most of the people here is attachment to the to the uh, founder, and therefore I'd like to tell you about how the best of consider were related to our Rebbe. And I gave an hour and a half presentation about how Brussels is really what Brussels really do as opposed to trying to give some sort of cosmeticized uh, sort of promotion for it. I spoke about the Jerry Truman and what people do with the Zion of the Rebbe and what people do with the Tefillah and what is really his cash for and what it means to learn the Rebbe's foreign and uh, they sat there for two hours on this question and mouth and crossing. So do you put stuff about Rabbi Nachman, is there stuff about Rabbi Nachman on the website? Uh, First of all, the entire essential of Rabbi Nachman is all available free download. No, I'm talking about on Torah for the nation. Oh, yeah, for sure. On Torah for the nation, too? For sure. The Gentiles all want Rabbi Nachman. Do they? And Rabbi Nachman himself has said... How do they know about Rabbi Nachman? Just just from connection with you or they hear about it from other places? He's, I mean, not, ever, not all of them have heard of him, but, but those who have heard of him, I mean, Laser Brody is hot stuff everywhere. Mm-hmm. And he's been getting the Rebbe out everywhere. And uh, none of them have, have played uh, a big part in getting the Rebbe's known all over the place. Also, also amongst Gentiles in, in America? The one seeking. Yeah. Really? Bit. Really? Interesting. Well, there's a kind of network of people who've been doing this for quite a time. I mean, Bendel Jones has been yeah. on this for over 20 years. Right. There's a whole network of his people, yeah. all of whom are... So they know. I mean, yeah. they know no, more about Judaism than many of our brothers and sisters. How many people did you say? It's possible to estimate. It's possible to estimate. I mean, uh... I mean, like, officially, they know. Who well, officially we must run to the tens of thousands in, in America. And this is something that is never reported in the media, barely known about. But I mean, uh, but far beyond that, there are the Christians who are who have dropped out of Christianity, do not hold to Christian dogma. They do know that Christianity is rooted in Judaism. They are one shape or form looking for Torah. Some of them are messianic. There's, for example, a huge group of people who call themselves Ephraim. Have you heard of these guys? They, are, they call themselves Ephraim because they believe that they are the ten lost tribes. Uh, under speaking Ephraim. of Britain, it's, it's from the, the British, what are they called? British Israelites or something like that? The, the, the origin, the origin of, it, of it is from there. Uh, yeah. There's a, uh, a convert, a righteous convert, a Giorat in Yerushalayim, who was the leader of this movement. She had uh, uh, hundreds of thousands of people involved in that movement. That's, uh, that's over Canada and uh, U- USA. So. Uh, and then they're effectively the they know They what? Are they, what is that part? They don't see themselves for they know They see themselves as the returning lost tribes of Israel. They have, at some level, a desire to attach themselves to the mitzvot. They don't look on Jews in the way that you and I do, who keep the Shulchan Aruch. They don't. In no way you see the Talmud as irrelevant or binding because it would be important as 